So what do you do on days where you just don't feel like it? You know, you just the juices aren't flowing, you feel depressed, everything's down, there's no energy, no creativity, you just you just don't want to live your life right now and you just want to curl up in bed and not do anything. What do you do on these days? Well, I happen to be an expert about that because uh, I'm a very up and down guy. I kind of surge up in good times and I kind of go very low in bad times. And I'm also bipolar, so I get sporadically like might have a, the worst day of my life for <laughs> no reason. I might have the best day of my life when I shouldn't really have a reason for that. Um, so usually before you go to bed, kind of already know that you're gonna have a bad day either mostly because you kind of feel it coming you know you just start to sense like losing energy losing a bit of of uh, inspiration you don't really want to go to sleep because you don't really want the day to start or it could be even the opposite where you go to sleep and you're so excited that something is just not not right like it's it's too much in your head and either way you woke up and it's a shit day so what do you do do you smile and pretend that you're happy that everything is amazing do you jump up and down maybe try to get yourself high energy or maybe pay gratitude you know think about all the things you you're grateful for in your life you know well, I mean, I would tell you to do that, but it never actually worked for me. The, the only thing that worked was just tough it out. <laughs> it's like, that's why I keep my life in, in a list, you know, in terms of uh, daily goals, daily tasks, things to do, is because I really don't want to keep myself confused. I want it to be very, very simple so that I don't have to think about it. I, I just know what I need to do. You know, I might improvise, I might do extra, but I just, I know every single morning as a matter of daily routine, what I need to do for the day. It's not up for debate. You know, I might strate strategically change it, but, but um, as long as I didn't strategically change it, that's, you know, the things I have to do um, be before the day ends. So, um, when I have a bad day, and today I'm, I happen to have a bad day, that's obviously the reason I made this video, I just go through the motions and just do it. It doesn't matter, like, I don't really feel like working out, okay, I just go work out. I don't feel like making a video, I'll just make it and be low energy. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't feel like meditating, no tough shit, I'll just be sad while meditating. Um, but there's a, there's a happy point to this, two happy points. Uh, the first one is the principle of don't be a little bitch that I taught you uh, in one of my previous videos. The idea behind it is that uh, whatever you, you do where you don't give your brain power over you, you kind of disable that thing. So if you're a procrastinator, and you just force yourself to you know whatever you're procrastinating you force yourself that before you go to sleep you have to do it you like you're not going to go to sleep before you do it you're not going to procrastinate anymore because your brain is going to realize it doesn't work or let's say that um you have the depression thing and your brain sees that you're a little bitch and that when you feel you know depressed you're like, oh no, I feel so bad. Oh no, oh I can't do anything today. And then you just do it, don't do anything. Uh, your brain is gonna realize, like, okay, I do, that's the best, the best way to prevent him from uh, taking action. I can just make him depressed, and he won't take action. Um, but if you keep taking action, even though you're depressed, and I'm not saying that. You know, you need to go all out crazy. You just do what you needed to do. Um, you're not going to get depressed as much because your brain is going to see that it's a pointless behavior. 
second benefit, and that's, this is just for me, this is just my own personal experience, is that every time I have a depressing day, or to be more precise, every day before I go to bed, and I know that I'm gonna have a depressing day, I'm actually very, very excited. Now, why is that? Almost consistent, like almost 100% of the time, when I have a bad day, and I just keep taking action, and I just kind of do the things I was supposed to do, something really, really good happens at the end of the day. I might close a huge sale, I might uh, have an amazing surprise, you know, whether it be with uh, women, something really, really good might happen. But whatever it is, I'm going to have a very positive surprise at the end of the day. Maybe an incredible meditation session. So these are my two tips for, again, if you're in a depressed state, if you're kind of down, what you should do. Again, first tip, just do what you needed to do anyway. Just don't resist it. Just make it happen. You know, it, it, you can be low energy. You can sound sad. But make sure you actually check that you did what you needed to do. And second thing is that, again, for me, um, the universe kind of re rewards me every time I pull through. And something really good happens at the end of the day. Um, yeah, these are the two tips. Uh, let me know if uh, something's not clear, if you have any questions. Um, I think this kind of summarizes the idea of how to handle kind of being depressed. At least, you know, when you get up, in, not depression as a whole, but getting up depressed, waking up depressed. Um, but again, if something is unresolved, um, definitely do tell me because I'd love to help you on that as well. And final thing, if you don't have a list of daily goals, daily habits that you need to accomplish in order for your day to be considered as successful, if you don't have a criteria for success, that's a big problem. And that's why I'm making a video about it right now.